but it's not really a recovery bill, to be honest. It's a, it's a mitigate this horrible slump bill. Right. It's, uh, by their own estimate, uh, the uh, administration's own economists, um, the effect of the bill will be that, uh, that the unemployment rate in late 2010 will be 6.2% instead, uh, instead of 8%. Uh, that, that the unemployment will, will peak at a little over eight instead of uh, instead of peaking at nine percent. By the way, almost surely uh, the forecast was, even though it made only a few weeks ago, is excessively optimistic. But it's uh, um, and it and then it sort of fades out. So if you actually look at it, it does it reduces the average unemployment rate over the next three years. I did this arithmetic by about one point two percentage points, which is. Not much, because we're looking at a very high average rate of unemployment over the mm -hmm. next three years, but, it, but it's less bad, significantly less bad than it would otherwise be. Um, and there's one thing that's really important here, which is that um, this is the kind of slump that can, runs a high risk of becoming self-perpetuating. Because we have a depressed economy, and everybody starts cutting prices, cutting wages, um, and first of all, that actually increases the burden of, of debt because the debts are in dollar terms, but if we start to have some deflation in the economy, then the debt is, is worth more in terms of people's incomes. But also it creates an expectation that prices or wages are going to continue to fall in the future. And now no, nobody wants to borrow. If, if, if by the time you repay the loan, a dollar is worth more than it is today. Um, it's a kind of situation where a persistently depressed economy can get you caught in a sort of deflationary trap that's very hard to get out of. That's what happened mm -hmm. in Japan in the 90s. The longer this goes on, the worse it is, the higher the risks of that. So it's very important to, even though you may not be able to generate a recovery, it's very important to do whatever you can to diminish the, the size and the duration of this slump that's coming. Uh, and that's what, what, what the stimulus needs to do. And it's not as if, you know, people sometimes talk about this as, well, you know, if this, um, if this doesn't work, we'll do some more. Or if this, you know, if uh, let's let's not do it. Let's wait and see what happens. Because the clock is ticking. Every month that goes by without an effective response increases the possibility that this could turn into a slump that lasts for many years.